Hi everyone, welcome back to Paper Confessions with Karami. I have a quick project share. It's outgoing mail for an ongoing giveaway hosted by Chelsea from Sugar Ray Crafts. So last time I showed you the VR on Friendship Friday, I was showing you the hand-painted papers I am going to be including in this happy mail. So she's celebrating her birthday this September and she's doing her annual painted paper giveaway. Now there are a few other items that you can include to um, gain a few extra points and one of them is to include paper scraps uh, in the size of eight and a half by 11. I did find a few so I'm just going to go ahead and send it off to her and as paper crafters we have so many off cuts. So here are the pieces of paper or scraps that I will be mailing to her. We have this. This one is not really a scrap, but I thought she would have fun with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in the mix. thought this also looked really cool, almost like hand painted. We have this color here. And then these are just off cuts. I'm also including some of these stickers um, that I'll be sending to her. She is asking for um, any kind, even if they're incomplete sets. And I also wanted to send her some textured little scraps here's some that i uh, had stenciled on with some gesso over paint and then we have some origami paper again i like this one because it almost has that hand painted or a paper painting look to it and then we just have a few more i think this is maggie holmes and then this one's really nice too i like that so that is my um paper scrap pieces that I will be mailing off to Chelsea and then she also requested if you would like and again we have a lot of these um, some stamped images I think you have to send a set of five to earn a certain amount of points so I went ahead and stamped it on craft paper and included some die cuts that's also she's requesting if you'd like to share with her so we have that and I'm going to be putting this cute little black and white sticker to seal that so the images that i did find so for the images she said um, she's hoping that she can get stamped images that she plans to color in i don't really have a lot of those a lot of my stamps are collage style but anyway i did find a few so here they are so i found this cute little flower pot and then we have uh, our little creatures. I love the little mouse on the snail. And then we have the hedgehog with the balloon. We have a cute little west westy dog, cat, and flowers. Um, I have a little Julie Nutting girl that she can color in. And then I thought these were really cool too. I forget what the brand is, but I really like uh, the details on it it says lucky and then here's one that says sweetheart and she can definitely color that in so these are the stamped images that i'm going to be mailing off to her and then she had also requested that you can um i think there were some decorated large tags so that's what i'm going to be mailing off to her it'll be the last item that i include but if you are interested in seeing what she is requesting for this giveaway please make sure to check the link down below and you have a lot of time it's open until november and she has two gift certificate prices for i think it's gina marie's favorite her favorite shop and you can um, hopefully get a chance to win that gift certificate so for the tag uh, she wanted it to be not too dimensional and to leave the back blank because she likes to write her movie reviews and journal on them so so here it is it's a, a fairly large tag i would say almost six inches and probably three and a half across and so i wanted to create a collage style using some scraps and other pieces that were gifted to me uh, this is the base of the tag it had some polka dots on it this beautiful uh piece of uh, backdrop was actually gifted to me by cornflower crafts and i thought it went well with the purple a uh, stationery that i wanted to include for this uh, she wanted to make sure uh chelsea was requesting that you make it in your own style she does not have like a preference um, as a matter of fact she prefers that you make it 
in your own style. So I went with, you know, my kind of vintage floral style here. So you'll see the gold foil on the stationery with the birds and the flowers. And since she said that it might be something she uses for her reviews, I wanted to include this cute little overlay that has like a film reel. And then we have beautiful rose um, lace. And I wanted to go with the theme of the flowers. So we have really nice wax seal there with the sun and a meadow. And then love this. I think this was from my either my flow book. I'm not really sure now, but I wanted to include this, you know, kind of again, nature themed with the flower. This is Maggie Holmes. Did some layers here with some coffee dyed paper, some writing paper there. And then I think this is like, uh, what is it? Pattern paper and some other scrapbook paper. Um, but yeah, that is it. And then just did some distress ink on the corners. And I wanted to just use a really thin lace little tie here for the tag so that when I mail it, it won't be as bulky. And on the back side, she just wanted to make sure that you sign your make your make uh, sign it and then mail it off. So that's my little outgoing uh, project share and happy mail for Chelsea. Make sure to check out her channel, Sugary Crafts. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye.